Hi, beloved. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. The Lord welcomes you too. I have a word from the Lord for somebody today and it's going to bless you. Listen, before I go into this, I want to introduce myself and tell you what we do here. My name is Evangel Blessings. What do we do here? We talk about God and his daily prophetic words for us now these words are to encourage us guide us and give us a gentle reminder that the lord is always with us and we are never really alone so in case you're feeling down please be encouraged i know that the lord is for you all right he said he'll never leave you nor forsake you um okay so today moving on to today's episode the title for this episode is you know <laughs> it's around kingdom marriage okay and the lord put a message in my heart all right about this idols i've been hearing idols 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 for a while i've not really you know wrapped my mind around it or understand fully what the lord was trying to say so i just kept silence i just kept silent because i always like to you know wait for him to reply me to confirm what he's saying what he's putting in my heart through the guidance of the holy spirit right so he confirmed it today to me told me the meaning of the word idols he's been putting idols in a man's heart okay in the heart of men now listen um one reason why i didn't used to or why rather I don't like talking about kingdom marriages often unless the Lord says do do this specifically it's because I don't want people's mind to be wrapped around it I don't want you know situations that will lead to obsession about kingdom marriages kingdom marriage because listen obsession is totally bad and the Lord does not want it for us okay now I'm going to be explaining to us why and um, the Lord says obsession okay about kingdom marriages can lead to codependency and lead to delay in marriages okay before i go in let me apologize for the background noise i'm so sorry about it all right please just stay tuned now listen why the lord is saying that it's gonna cause a delay and codependency habit all right that is a negative habit for one to actually have on themselves or in themselves is because you know, it is written in the Bible that when a man finds a wife, right, finds a good thing, and then he leaves his father and his mother and clings to his wife, right? But here's the thing that, that, that we ladies even need to know. Aside ladies, if you're here and you're a man and you're listening to this message, take it as it resonates, okay? Why is it important for us to not obsess about kingdom marriage is that? If you don't obsess about kingdom marriage, it means your heart still has a space for God. It still has a space. And if your heart is in the right place, the Lord can actually lead you to who he has assigned for you as a spouse. Do you get it? Who he has actually assigned to you as a spouse. But before the, before the Lord can do that for you, it means that your will, my God, is in agreement with his will for you. Your mind and your will is in agreement with his will for you. So, but if your mind is focused on somebody or, or a thing about the kingdom marriage, kingdom marriage, you will not be able to hear from the Lord. That's what he's saying. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just, I, I don't have any reason. I, know, I don't have any other um, option than to, than to say this. I've seen people who will be like, kingdom marriages, kingdom marriages. And before you know it, you, you begin to listen or pay too much attention to kingdom marriages, watch too much videos about kingdom marriages, and you end up becoming obsessed. Morning and night and afternoon, you're watching these things. And, you know, your expectation is, is, is to become too high. And you want it to happen today, tomorrow. What if the Lord has actually planned for it to happen next month, next year, next two years? Okay? Delay is not our portion. But what if the Lord has said this is when it's going to happen? You constantly watching that thing. You want it to happen the next minute. And when it does not happen, your expectation is cut off. It's cut short to you. To you. And you end up making a mistake. What do I mean? Since the Lord is not going to bless me with a, with a man that he said he will bless me with. Because I've been hearing too many messages of the Lord is going to bless you with a good man and that and that. Since he's not going to bless me with a good man, it's better I just marry anybody that comes. It's better I settle down with anybody that comes. If he's not going to bless me with a good wife, I mean, I'll just settle with anybody that comes. That's what the obsession does to you. Okay? It makes you codependent. Okay, so sorry about that. So one of the ways you can actually identify who your kingdom spouse is, right, is, is if you... Oh my God. Knowing who this person is, who she is, who he is, okay? She being brought to your face like 
Eve was brought to Adam's face because Eve was brought to Adam, not even given to him. She was brought before him. She was made to see him by the Lord. Like the Lord was with Eve after creating her. Do you understand? So he brought her to, to Adam, placed her right in front of Adam. And then as soon as he saw her, he knew the bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, everything of my everything. And that's when it dawned on him, this is my wife. Right? Exactly. Exactly. So if your heart is overly, you know, overly disturbed, you will not even be with the Lord like the Eve in the first place. You'll be somewhere else, fantasizing, oh, fantasizing. So the Lord will not even have that time to bring you before your Adam and place you and say, this is, just stand before him for him to recognize who you are. And why is it so that obsession is bad? Because it leads to codependency. Codependency can vary, you know, in people. Some people are codependent on other people for several other reasons, for anything at all. You can be codependent on a person because you just see the person and you believe, oh, um, this person is just going to make me better. This person is just going to do this and do that. How you will even know that your kingdom spouse is for you? A, a way to know is as soon as you're around this person or you find yourself, you know, you know, my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. You, you find this person being projected on you. You know, you, you see this person, you, you, you feel the signs around you, even without being told. There's a peace that comes to that person because you don't you don't have the tendency to obsess. You'll be in a very right state of mind in the first place. As soon as you see this person, you already realize I'm already good on my own, but I believe we will make each other better. She will teach me and I will teach her. He will teach me and I will teach him. We will be compatible, right? Not codependent. Oh, I think I think I just need someone to just fill my, my heart up, fill my this up. No, 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 no. Your first love is to be your father. Who is your father? The heavenly father. Like Eve, you're supposed to be with him first. Be loving up on him first. Like, be like, no, 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 leave me. My daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, right? My dad, even when the kingdom spouse is around, you're still like, my daddy, please leave me alone, my daddy. Right? Your daddy will not be the one to push you to his face, to her face. And then the person just says, hmm, I, I never noticed this person. And then when they keep looking, they keep finding out that it's the Lord that's actually bringing, she, bringing him, bringing them to your face. For you to notice, there's a sign I gave you in the first place to know this is him, this is that. This is her. Okay? So obsessing about this can cause a delay. Why? Upon. Sorry about that again. Sorry. <laughs> so you see, that's why we're called upon to not be obsessive, right? Look for something else to do. Rather go deeper into God so you don't make a mistake. Because when you ex start expecting, 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 watching all sorts of things and feeding yourself with too much of that, it becomes an idol in your heart. And wherever a man's heart is, right? That is where his treasure lies. What is your treasure? What is your treasure? Is it becoming an idol to you? That's one way you know who your kingdom spouse is. If your kingdom spouse has become an idol to you, there's a problem, there's a problem, there's a problem. You need to go back to God. Rededicate yourself to him. Your kingdom spouse is not supposed to be an idol to you. So if you find yourself always worrying, constantly seeking for, okay, what is he going to do next? Is he going to propose? Is he going to do this? He's becoming an idol in your heart. She is becoming an idol in your heart. So that's why it is not good to always chase after things like that, but rather to take it all to God in prayer and fasting, seeking his face and his guidance. Because in as much as marriage is very important, very good, very necessary. We must be very careful because whatever one rushes into, especially marriage, you will almost immediately rush out of. Okay? So we want to watch it and we want to be guided by the Lord. If you want to know your kingdom spouse, you want to, um, you know, you want to be sure you're ready 
because it's not just being it's not just about being um, um beautiful getting your hair done your nails done and everything about you ready it's also about knowing that you are ready inwardly and how do you know if you've gotten to the stage in your life where your kingdom spouse issue about kingdom marriages isn't an obsession to you then you're ready okay I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not judging you with my own understanding I'm not leaning on my understanding but the understanding of the most high king okay so I don't want you to go and end up with somebody else because your kingdom spouse is not coming forth or the, you feel like um, the, the messages on kingdom marriage is becoming too much it's not becoming too much darling there are thousands of people out there who are seeking for this um, this messages and it might not even be for you immediately okay that's why the bible said we should not despise prophecies but rather we should test all spirits and also test the time and the season because it might be coming now okay the message might be coming now but it might not be for you it might be for somebody else just like most of my messages if you take every of my messages that is for you you will get heartbroken because most of the time it's warnings it's about warnings so that's why you must always test the, is it for me no when to say it's not for me no 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 i'm just gonna sit back it's not for me right so i gotta go now i'm gonna leave you here i'm so happy i talked on kingdom marriage if you want to be ready that's how you know how to be ready somebody i don't know who you are but the lord has been giving you a message telling you you are not ready you are very beautiful you are very everything you're ready but inwardly spiritually you are not ready because you need to recognize the fact that you need to go to the father first then he will bring you to your husband like he brought eve to adam he will bring you always be watchful the lord everything he created he brought to man he created all the animals and he brought them to adam to name created um eve brought her to him he didn't even say this is your wife he just brought before him he knew he just knew this is the bone of my bone so in order for that to happen to you you need to go to the father go to jesus Go to Jesus because only through him can you get to the Father. So go to Jesus, right? And tell him, Father, I'm ready. I'm ready to be ready. I'm ready to be ready. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I hope you take these messages. Um, I just posted today and, and you're wrong with it, okay? The Lord bless you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May you not make a mistake in marriage. Oh, my darling, may you not make a mistake in marriage. In the name of Jesus. That's the worst thing that can happen to anybody. Okay? Take time. Go and do your hair. Go and do your nails. Go out. Take yourself out. You know, be happy. Read books. Pray a little. Pray some more. Fast. Commune with the Father. Spend some quality time to yourselves. Okay? The time you waste on trying to find out about the kingdom marriage spend it on yourself and breathe okay the lord loves you darling the lord loves 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 you take care okay shalom bye